Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. So this video is the summary of your validation and its types. Yes, here I am going to do an activity for you that is activity 7.7 .7 of your book. Okay, so let's quickly do question number one in this video and then we will do the remaining questions in the next videos. Okay, quickly see that. In question number one, state with reasons which validation checks you could use for the following inputs. So it means there are some inputs provided. One, two, three. And we have to choose the validation checks for these inputs. And you have to give reason for that. Why are you applying these validation checks for the uh, particular inputs provided? Okay, you may decide more than one validation check. Okay, it's up to you. If you want to decide more than one validation check, you can do that, but give reason for each. Okay, let's start with number one, entering a telephone number. Okay, so let's suppose the user has to enter a telephone number. It is very obvious that Telephone numbers are numeric in nature. So, the validation check that must be applied on this kind of field, data field, must be your type check, which ensures that user must have entered integer values in your telephone number field. All characters must be integers. Now, the reason for this is I have already mentioned that a phone number cannot contain any character like letters or alphabets. So, telephone number is always numeric. Number is always numeric or contains integers in it. Now, quickly moving towards the second one, that is entering a pupil's name. Okay. For the second one, the pupil's name or any name that the user has to enter, we must specify the length check. Why? Because the length check is going to specify the user that you must not enter any name that is too small or any name that is too long. There must be given a specific range of num or number of characters that the user has to enter. For example, from 3 till 40. The minimum characters that the user is going to enter will be three characters and the maximum characters that user can enter would be 40 characters. If it will be a name of 41 characters, then it will be considered invalid. Or if it is a name that is only two characters long, so it will be a very small name, it will be invalid. So here you are specifying the length of your pupil's name. This is the length check. And why? The reason is so that the user must enter a valid name, so that the user must not. To make sure that it is not a very short or very long name. Okay? Now, entering a part number in the form XXX999, where X must be a letter and 9 must be a digit. It is very, very, very obvious. We have just covered it in the previous video. Let's suppose anything that is XXX999 X, that is a specific format. 
you are specifying a particular format for your input data. First three characters must be letters and the other three characters must be digits. So here the validation check that is applied is the format check which ensures that the user enters the part number in the form that first three characters must be letters and other three characters must be numbers. So for example, it can be A, F, Z, 1, 2, 9. So this can be a valid entry for a part number. Okay, so why I am applying the format check? The reason is because already it the format of input data is specified. Okay. So here we go, this is done. Question number one is done. We will do question number two in the next video. So stay tuned, stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.